R-E-S-P-E-C-T. I'll tell you what it means to me. Law 7. Respect. Law number seven is the law of respect. It states that people naturally follow leaders stronger than themselves. I want to tell you a little story. If you had seen this woman, your first reaction might not have been respect. She wasn't very impressive looking, just a little over five feet tall in her late thirties with dark brown weathered skin. She couldn't read and she couldn't write. The clothes she wore were coarse and worn. When she smiled, people could see that her top two front teeth were missing. She lived alone. The story was she had abandoned her husband when she was just 29. She gave him no warning. Just one day, he woke up and she was gone. She talked to him only once after that, years later, and she never mentioned his name afterward again. Her employment was intermittent. Most of the time, she took domestic jobs in small hotels, scrubbed floors, made up rooms, cooking. But just about every spring and fall, she would disappear from her place of employment, come back broke, and work again to scrape together what little money she could. When she was present on the job, she worked hard and seemed physically tough. But she was also known to have bouts where she would just suddenly fall asleep, sometimes even in the middle of conversation. She attributed her affliction to a blow to the head she had taken during a teenage fight. So my question is, who would ever follow or even respect a woman like that? Well, the answer is more than 300 slaves who followed her to freedom out of the South. They recognized and respected her leadership. So did just about every abolitionist in New England. The year was 1857. The woman's name was Harriet Tubman. Harriet Tubman would appear to be an unlikely candidate for leadership because the deck was certainly stacked against her. She was uneducated. She lived in a culture that didn't respect African Americans. And she labored in a country where women didn't have the right to vote yet. Despite her circumstances, she became an incredible leader. The reason is simple. People naturally follow leaders stronger than themselves. Everyone who came in contact with her recognized her strong leadership ability and felt compelled to follow her. That is how the law of respect works. If you remember right, in lesson one, we looked at the law of the lid. Now when we say that a leader will follow somebody stronger than themselves, somebody with a level five leadership will follow somebody with a level eight leadership. But I can tell you right now, a level eight leadership person will not follow a level five leadership person for very long. It's too frustrating for them. So here's a cool thing that you can try. Next time you get into a group setting, especially when we really don't know whose title is what and who represents what, like a network marketing meeting or something with the local chamber of commerce, I want you to watch how people react. It doesn't take them long to figure out who is a stronger leader in the group. And they naturally start flocking to those people. What they're doing is they're looking for a leader who is stronger than they are. This goes back to that alpha dog mentality. The person who is technically and tactically proficient. The person who is going to take care of their people, take care of the people underneath them. The person that is bringing the most added value. Those are the people that are going to be the sevens and eights and nines. Those are the people that everybody's going to flock to and gather around. It's just a natural part of life. 
The bottom line is, the more leadership ability a person has, the more he recognizes it in others. I was just at a junior leadership training school for the young Marines, and the deputy director and I were in the room, and we were just watching the kids. And we could tell who the leaders were. We could tell, even though all the scores hadn't come in, all the tests hadn't come in, the evaluations hadn't come in, they hadn't been run through the Meg Freaks, we could tell who were probably the ones that were gonna come up on top. We could look and see leaders. And one thing to remember is if you got a leader with high capability and he isn't challenged, that guy is leaving and pursuing his own agenda and not yours. So you really got to think hard and fast. You got to keep on learning. You have to keep on growing to stay ahead of those of whom you're in charge of. You have to earn their respect. We're going to take a look at living the law of respect. We're going to take a look at six attributes. First attribute is natural leadership ability. This is probably one of the biggest pitfalls. You think it would be a plus, but a lot of times people rely on their natural leadership ability and inborn talent instead of developing the skill set. So if you're a naturally born leader, or if you just, your upbringing, your environment, uh, made you into this awesome leader, that's great, but you still need to work on the skill sets. You still need to put tools into your toolbox. The second attribute is a respect for others. As a leader, you need to learn to respect other people, to see other people bigger and further along their path of development than they see themselves. If you cannot see them further along the path of their development, there is no way that you can lead them. And if you can't lead them, then you can't add value to them. If you can't add value to them, they're just not going to respect you. Courage. Leaders have to take risks. They have to be able to withstand criticism. They have to be willing to stand alone. One of the attributes of living this law is you're going to have to have courage to try things and be willing to fail. And then pick yourself back up, dust yourself back off, and try it again. The next one is success. No matter what anybody says, Accomplishing things, getting things done, is an attractor. You can talk the talk, but can you walk the walk? Do you have output? Do you have wins? That is an attractor. Loyal. Most leaders I know, matter of fact, all leaders I know, are intensely loyal. Now, that doesn't mean that we don't have disagreements. That doesn't mean that we don't even have differences of opinion. But we are loyal to each other. The next one is value added to others. If you're going to live this law of respect, you have to be value added. Your life, when other people interact with you, has to add value to their life. Those of you who are watching this video and I'm so thankful that you are my goal is trying to add value to your life trying to make your life a little bit better trying to add a few more tools to your life that's what leaders do the next thing I want to bring up is leadership has to be earned now as a leader we freely give respect to those of whom we're leading but don't expect them to freely give it back. It just doesn't work that way. People don't follow others by accident. 
They follow individuals whose leadership they respect, who show courage, who show a commitment to add value to them. Really, in a sense, this is where this kind of marries up to another law we'll go into a little bit later on, not in this lesson, it's called the Law of Magnetism. It plays a huge role here. So here's three questions that you can ask yourself. Who chooses to follow you? Look at the people following you. What is your tribe, so to speak? And then also, what's your leadership level? Have you done enough self-awareness, self-auditing to look at yourself and, and see, really, what is my level of leading? And then you have to ask yourself, how would your employees, family members, trainees, change something they're doing if you ask them to as their coach or leader? Do they take your advice? Do they respect your opinion? So how do you start earning respect? Number one, you respect others. You don't judge them. Now that doesn't mean that you're a doormat, but they got their life to live and they got their own experiences. Respect that. Value their contribution to the team. But they give back. Otherwise, they're just a cog in the wheel. And that's not leadership. Build others up. Are you telling people? Are you purposely looking for things in their character or what they do in their work to build them up? to compliment them. I mean, a genuine compliment. Say, hey, that was really cool. I really like the way you did that. Seek the needs and hopes and desires of others first. Figure out what they want in life and see if there's a way that you can give it to them. So are you seeing a pattern here? You want respect, you give respect. So that's the law of respect in a nutshell. If you want respect, you give respect. If you want to add value and have people add value to your life, you add value to their life. It's a pretty simple formula, but it has to be done intentional and it has to be done authentically. Genuinely compliment them. Genuinely look for things that they do that impress you. So for further study, I exhort you to get the book, The 21 Irrefutable Laws of Leadership. I got a link down below. If you like this YouTube video, make sure you give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to it and look for the next law that will be dropping next Friday. Till then, Zagani J, out.